Now, here's a little story I got to tell about three bad brothers you know so well. It started way back in 2015 when Dan Bach joined the Brothers Lee. Dub Smash was our thing all last year until Sony Music made our show disappear. With Lip Sync off the map, we're here to unwrap a new show bet. It's the Rap Recap. <laughs> Brady's back. Should have known Martellus was the one we wanted to own. Steelers romped, worked out nice. But when did Sammy turn to Jerry Rice? I whistled for an Uber. It was the color of champagne. The license plate said tip and pick, which was hard to explain. If anything, I could say this Uber was preordained. But I thought, nah, forget it. Yo, Holmes, off the loser's lane. We claw with our fingernails for that inch. Because we know that when you add up all of those inches, it'll be the difference between winning and losing. One, two, three into the foe. DB730 is waiting at the door, ready to make an entrance. So back on up, because you know I'm about to screw stuff up. Give me the microphone first so I can burst like a bubble. Geno Smith and Cash Games, man, you know I'm in trouble. Ain't nothing but a Gino thing, baby. Mm -hmm. Trusting him in cash games is crazy. But a grinders is the label that pays mm -hmm. Maybe you're just like Ty Montgomery. Hell, he didn't even play. He didn't even play. Why did I choose so crummy? This is what it sounds like. When tip and pick cries. I liked your lineup even more than a min price starting quarterback drinking a straw burrito. All three of your receivers were in good spots, going up against cornerbacks with hyphenated last names. And you don't have to be a scientist like me to know that every cornerback with a double last name is ranked dead last out of 119 qualifying corners on Pro Football Focus. My lineups were dead for the night. Don't stop. Swapping, not a word's feeling, late night regret. <laughs> if one of us lost, you can look and you will find me, time after time. If a lock lays an egg, I will ha have him, time after time. If you need a laugh, you can come and you will find me on Loser's Lane. Whatever you do, don't dump the blame on you. Blame it on the rain. Yeah, yeah. Aggression was pent, I just had to vent before I go hide in my sideline tent. It was a bad run, but now I'm done. At least DraftKings still emailed me. You won! Cause I'm the week's loser, yes I'm the real loser. All your other big losers can hail the King Gooba. So won't the real six mil please stand up? Please stand up? Please stand up? Cause I'm the week's loser, yes I'm the real loser. All you other big losers can hail the King Gooba. So won't the real six mil please stand up? Please stand up? Please stand up? I still got a shot. Oh, we're halfway there. More touchdowns in the air. A couple TDs and I can get some hair. Oh, <laughs> touchdowns in the air. Touchdowns in the air. Twas the week before Christmas and time to do our show. The chat room was focused on an NBA. Their screens all aglow. You see, the competition at the WFSC had been tough. Trying to win that thing would prove to be rough. Tumbling, tumbling, my roster settled at position 39. But with 30K in my pocket, only a fool would whine. So, on to the last show of the year. I feel compelled to exclaim that I'll miss our listeners and viewer, but I won't miss Loser's Lane. Um, you should feel my heart beating right now. I'm a 40-year-old scientist, not a 19-year-old rap star. They're calling me Tippin' Prince in the, in the chat room. I'm never going to lose again after this. Pretty much all of my Loser's Lanes videos are like, please don't throw me in the briar patch. Oh, oh, there's a costume change. Hold on. I can feel it. There's a costume change. I can't lose these things anymore. That was terrible. <laughs> I'm proud to be part of this show right now. <laughs> I don't believe you for a single second. <laughs> this is why this show is like no other in fantasy sports. You don't find that anywhere else.